Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets, with maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Whittleton Creek for the Pass Gas Challenge which entails eliminating Nolan Cassidy with the exterminator's uh, fumigation machine. So for this challenge the only items we'll need to be bringing with us will be our ever trusty lockpick which we won't really need, our coins which we won't really need and our silenced pistol which we will need. So with all of that said, let's get reacquainted with our target. Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. So right from the start and off the bat, we are going to require a couple of items. Uh, we are going to head off down to the right here and we're going to go to the Muffing Lady. Uh, that's Mrs. Helen West. Uh, we're going to head to her property, more specifically her basement. So we're just going to run straight down the road here until we get just past the pink van on our left. And we're going to crouch down as we approach the fence, vault over the fence and straight down the basement stairs. And lockpick our way inside, so we are using the lockpick after all. I knew there was a reason I brought it. And in the basement here, we will find two vials of poison. One just on the bench to our left and one on the stepladder just off to our right there. One is lethal, one is agmatic. And we require them both before leaving the basement and retracing our steps back over the fence. So from here we now require ourselves a change of outfit and the outfit in question will be the exterminator's outfit and he is parked outside Mr. Batty's house who is the middle house just up ahead of us on the left. You can see the yellow van parked on the grass there with the bu large bug on the roof. And if we make our way around to the far side of the van, duck down into the bushes, if we're quick enough and no one's around, we can then render him unconscious. We're going to pick up the keys that he drops, and we're going to hide his body in the bush, take his outfit, and get that last key there, lovely. And we're going to make our way into Nolan Cassidy's residence, which is the first house here. We have the key, we're not trespassing, we can make our way straight inside. And inside we're going to select our silenced pistol and shoot out the camera above the fumigation machine. And as we have a bit of time before the patrolling guard arrives, we're going to add the eggmatic poison to the fumigation machine. And then we're going to proceed on to take care of the patrolling guard. He frequents the house and the garden so we need him out of the way because if we poison everyone and he's outside he won't be poisoned and he will then discover bodies and the rest of it although I should point out at this point that in my previous video we killed everybody in the house I believe this time we are going to try and minimize our losses but we will get a couple of non-target kills so we're just going to wait by the fumigation machine until Nolan Cassidy is approaching the property from across the road. He will make his way to the, the, the Wilson's house and then cross over the road to this side of the road. At that point we want to trigger the fumigation machine. That will make everybody in the property sick. We're then going to place our silence pistol just in the entrance of the garage there and then make our way into the kitchen and take out the surveillance system. 
so that that doesn't spot any bodies as there are a number of cameras in and around the house doesn't really matter because we are going to lose our silent assassin rating but we are going to try to minimize collateral damage so once we've done all that we're going to return to the fumigation machine and add our lethal poison once we've turned the machine off and we're going to wait now for Nolan Cassidy and his bodyguard to enter via the garage Nolan Cassidy will spot the gun that will stop the bodyguard in his tracks and Nolan Cassidy will continue on into the kitchen and that is Nolan Cassidy taken care of both targets are confirmed killed so once Cassidy is dead you want to make sure you turn the fumigation machine off very quickly so that we minimize casualties there are two other guards in the house throwing up who do also die as collateral damage but that is the pass gas challenge i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video